Thank you for joining us on the Test Bench. So you've bought yourself an Oculus Quest, figuring you can have the best of both worlds between wireless VR you can take with you anywhere, and the ability to plug your charging cable into a PC's USB 3.0 port for a more robust experience. Then you found out that cable is a tether that's detrimental to you moving freely around your play space. But with $20, a little bit of time, and fast Wi-Fi in your home, you can make that cable a thing of the past. And don't worry, these steps work for the original Oculus Quest and the new Oculus Quest 2. If this is your first rodeo with wirelessly streaming to your Oculus Quest, you're in luck. This video is an update to a video I released in October of last year, and a lot has changed. Virtual desktops started out certified to stream wirelessly to Oculus Quest, and then Oculus stripped that certification because the product competed with their planned implementation of the same idea. Oculus is owned by Facebook after all, and Facebook gonna Facebook. But in late February of 2021, something remarkable happened. Oculus recertified the game streaming functionality of Virtual Desktop. Before that recertification, getting Virtual Desktop to stream was an arduous process of signing up for a developer account, putting your Oculus in developer mode using your phone, downloading ADB drivers, and replacing your CPU cooler with a sacrificed goat in hopes that the smoke reaches Facebook headquarters and pleases Mark Zuckerberg. Smoking these meats here. If you follow my previous guide, which is now unlisted so people don't seek it out and accidentally get bad information, it's still worthwhile to update Virtual Desktop and the streamer app so you can get your headset out of dev mode because that interferes with things like plugging your headset into your computer and retrieving recorded video. For our first step, we need to buy Virtual Desktop from the Oculus Store. There is a version of Virtual Desktop on Steam, but it's designed for wired headsets and that's not what we want. To stream wirelessly, we need Virtual Desktop running inside the Oculus headset. It's priced at $19.99 and is occasionally on special as low as $14.99. We can make this purchase at the Oculus Store via the desktop Oculus software, their website, or in the Oculus Quest Store. Once it's bought, we of course want to install it on our headset. If we have reservations about buying the app or are upset, there is a cost attached to it. You'll want to keep in mind the games you're trying to set this up to play aren't going to be free either. Before we can start streaming, we need to navigate to vrdesktop.net and click on Download Streamer App. Once it's downloaded, we install it. Next, we open it up and put our Oculus username into the Oculus username field. This allows the streamer to find the relevant headset. The latest version of the streamer app allows you to plug in up to three Oculus usernames. Convenient if you have multiple headsets in the household or are sharing your headset with someone who uses a different account. Now, slap on that headset and launch the virtual desktop app. Once you do, you'll see any computers on your Wi-Fi network with Virtual Desktop Streamer running and keyed to your Oculus username. I have two computers here. Fun box in my living room for experiences where I need to move around, like Beat Saber and Blade and Sorcery. My desktop for seated experiences where I'll want a joystick and keyboard, like Elite Dangerous and Star Wars Squadrons. Select the computer you plan to connect to, and you'll notice you can see your computer desktop in the menu for Virtual Desktop. Select the Games tab using the Oculus Touch controller, and select what you want to play. Steam VR or Oculus software will launch accordingly. The only exception I found to this is Star Wars Squadrons, where you want to start it from the Steam interface and select the VR option. If you have janky Wi-Fi, your results are probably going to be less than stellar. But I previously owned a first-generation Oculus Rift, and I can't tell the difference in latency between playing wirelessly via virtual desktop and playing with a clunky wire attached to the computer. And let me tell you, that wire is a real killer in drunken bar fight. According to Virtual Desktop's product page, Streaming from a PC to a headset is also possible with an Oculus Go and the Gear VR. I don't own an Oculus Go, so I can't speak for it, but the Gear VR was my introduction to VR. I'd run the experiment to show you what the Gear VR streaming experience is like, 
but the screen door effect on it is much more pronounced than the Oculus Quest. It drains your phone's battery quickly, and many Galaxy phones overheat rapidly playing VR movies, so I'd hate to see what streaming PC graphics would do. That does it for today. If you're going to try your have-tried virtual desktop to stream to a VR headset, I'd love to know your results in the comments. And as always, thank you for joining us on The Test Bench. Like this video and subscribe to The Test Bench. Feel free to join us on Facebook. Back us on Patreon if you want to help us show you more cool stuff. And follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out our other videos.